In the past few months, Ukraine received 30 decommissioned Gepards from Germany. These anti-aircraft guns were developed in the 1970s in Germany to counter low-flying, armored attack helicopters such as the Russian Mil Mi-24. They also seem to be effective in engaging small targets, such as Iranian-made kamikaze drones that Russia uses. On New Year's Eve, Russia launched its kind of blitz over the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv. Swarms of Iranian-built suicide drones, upgraded by Russian engineers for increased accuracy and lethality, slammed into targets across the city and the country. Civilians sought shelter and information from telegram channels. Ukrainian troops operated their guns. But which guns could be capable of downing an unmanned vehicle just 11 feet long, coming at them from high altitudes at more than 115 miles per hour? Germany had the answer and donated them to Ukraine's armed forces. The Flockpanzer Gepard, also known as the Gepard anti-aircraft tank, is a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun developed by the German military during the Cold War. It was built on the chassis of the Leopard 1 tank and was armed with twin 35mm autocannon. It was designed to provide mobile anti-aircraft protection for ground units and was used by the German army and several other countries. The Gepard's twin 35mm autocannon has a maximum range of 3,000 meters and can fire up to 1,200 rounds per minute, making it highly effective against aircraft, helicopters, and ground targets. The vehicle also had a radar system that could detect and track targets at ranges up to 15 kilometers, which provided early warning and target acquisition for the gunners. The Gepard was in service with the German army from the 1970s to the late 2000s and was used in several conflicts, including the Gulf War. It was considered one of the most advanced anti-aircraft systems of its time and was highly valued by the German military for its mobility and firepower. According to Politico, there are more Gepard to come. The Gepard is an anti-aircraft weapon mounted on top of an armored vehicle with dual barrels that send twin streams of 35mm ammunition into the sky at incoming targets, and it's been a game changer for Ukraine. On New Year's Eve, Ukrainian air defenses dropped over 80 Iranian-made Shahed 136 kamikaze drones and seven Russian cruise missiles over the capital city. The Shahed drones are cheaply made, for around $10,000 a piece, and deliver a tactically useless explosive used to terrorize civilians. The drone's biggest asset is that, when fired in swarms, they can overwhelm Ukrainian air defenses with their size and numbers. The only warning at first of an incoming drone swarm is the telltale sound of its lawnmower-sounding engines. Apart from terrorizing the capital, swarms of Shahed drones have attacked Ukraine's energy infrastructure and expended Ukraine's ammunition, trying to take them out. Russia, for its part, packs the drones with as many explosives as possible, upgrades its guidance system to work with existing GPS instruments, and launches the weapons with the target GPS coordinates. Russia has hundreds in the battle space, but Ukraine claims Russia has ordered thousands more from Iran and may even be working on manufacturing them inside Russia. Since September 2022, the Gepard system has been used to shoot down an estimated 540 Shahed 136 kamikaze drones. Ukraine hails the vehicles as effective for protecting Ukrainian ground forces against the drones and Russian cruise missiles, but says the Gepard alone isn't enough for its needs. Add to that the fact that ammunition may start running out. The most crucial factor is that the vehicle's 35mm ammunition is manufactured in neutral Switzerland. The government of Switzerland won't allow Germany to export the ammo to Ukrainian battlefields, given its officially neutral status. When Germany asked the Swiss for almost 13,000 rounds to be sent to Ukraine, the Swiss rejected the German proposal.
In response, Germany began manufacturing its ammunition for the weapons, but production was slow to ramp up, and the first rounds won't be deliverable until later in 2023. The United States and other NATO allies have since looked to their stockpiles for compatible ammunition to send, but have so far come up short. In the meantime, Ukraine will have to expand its air defense system to include any weapons that might be effective against the continued onslaught. Iran has developed several military drones in recent years, including some that are used for reconnaissance and others that are armed. These drones are relatively small and have a low radar cross-section, making them difficult to detect and track. It's possible that the Gepard's radar system could detect and track Iranian drones. The Gepard has a separate search and tracking radars, with the search radar mounted at the front rear of the turret and the tracking radar mounted at the rear front of the turret. The radars offer 360-degree scanning while simultaneously monitoring targets, suppressing clutter, enabling search while moving, and operating in monopulse tracking mode. The Gepard is mounted with twin Orlikon KDA 35mm guns in a two-person electric power controlled turret. The weapons are equipped with an automatic belt feed. The length of the barrel is 90 calibers, or 3,150 millimeters. The two barrels fire at a rate of 1,100 rounds per minute. Each 35mm cannon comes with 320 rounds of anti-air ammunition and 20 rounds of anti-ground target ammunition. The guns can use various standardized 35mm ammunition, including the new frangible armor-piercing discarding SABA ammunition, or FAPDS rounds. The FAPDS rounds have a muzzle velocity of more than 1400 meters per second. The Gepard has eight smoke dischargers mounted on either side of the turret. Kraus Maffei Wegman used the Stinger surface to air missile system to build a missile system for the Gepard. The dual Stinger launching mechanism was installed on a 35 mm twin gun piece. However, the system was tested but was not deployed due to budgetary restrictions.